is Mustang Lover 1970 here. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a drive review on my 2001 Ford Mustang V6. Thank you all for stopping by and tuning into this video. I hope you enjoy everything you find in this video interesting. So um, I've never really done this before. So here goes my first attempt on trying to do this. Um, I hope you all enjoy it and here we go. So this is what it's like driving my 01 Mustang V6. So as we all know, these Mustangs from the factory make only 193 horsepower stock. And from, you know, the day 2000, 1999, 2004, that was okay horsepower. Nowadays, you can find a four-cylinder Camry with like 300 horsepower. So when the parents say, when your parents say sometimes, oh, don't get a Mustang, it's too fast you're going to get more power in a Toyota Camry, which is completely irrelevant towards the Mustang because the old Mustang from this generation is just not, it's not powerful. It's, it has power, but it's not as powerful as people think it is because of the name. So other than that, yeah, let's just enjoy this little drive here and hopefully hit the highway and this is what it's like. So, you know, I got my stick shift down there and got to coming up on a red light here so I'll be right back so this Mustang I bought well I did it my dad did he bought it on May 24th 2018 so we roughly had it for two years now um, we bought it as a flip and sell car so we spent only like maybe 1900 1800 on this car so therefore it was just it was not the nicest looking thing on the road it had so many problems alternator issues ford excursion battery in it which ruined the alternator um it just had so many issues the windows never really worked or anything like that so you expect to just i would never want to own a car like this all right in the beginning of the time now here i am i'm in love with it so we bought it with 140,000 miles on it. So which wasn't really a bad, you know, wasn't that bad of mileage for a 2001. So we bought it with that. My dad and I, we put the X pipe on it, which sounds incredible, and Borla attacks on it too. So this car has really redeemed itself over the past 17, 18 years of living like hell, let's just say. Um, and then the differential exploded when we first got it somebody who owned this before like did burnouts every single day with this car which ruined the transmission I mean the differential so the spider gears were messed up then we put 373 uh, gears in it which really woke up the 38 more so then on top of that we also bought the American Muscle Performance Pack which has the the cold air intake the 373 gears which came with that of course um, 373 gears cold air intake and then the coil pack which really wakes up a 3.8 plus it's got a 93 octane tune on it so this engine is not making around 193 anymore it's making probably around 220 to 225 horsepower which is not that bad for a v6 this mustang is a 2001 so the 05 through 09 is pretty much caught up i mean this one is pretty much caught up with the 05 and 09 v6 specs maybe a little bit faster but you know it's what it is reason I love I fell in love with it when I was getting my learner's permit because my dad and mom wanted me to learn how to drive stick shift so this was practically the only stick shift that was in our family besides my dad Shelby but he always had that at work and my dad's not that kind of guy he was like oh don't let me drive I'm not gonna let you drive my car he lets me drive a Shelby so that's a good thing right there but anyways um with that being said learning how to drive stick on this car made me really fall in love with it my dad gave it to me for my Christmas present of 2018. Here I am driving it every single day of my life, going here and there. You know, I couldn't be more happy, you know. This is a great car. It feels great, it's fun to drive. My friends love it, I love it. And at the same time, I'm teaching my brother how to drive stick shift on this too. So pretty much, it is a good car, and we all love it, and we're all learning something from it. So anyways, guys, um, that being said, here I am, almost a 2020, still driving it, got my leather seats in it, I got my, of course the parts that we put on it before, but on top of that leather seats, painted on my interior, 
tons more stuff coming. I'm planning on getting the Cobra bumper and maybe the uh, the GT bumper because of the dual exhaust. So that's that, guys. So I'll be right back. Another thing about the V6 Mustang, especially when you're becoming a new driver, is the insurance. The insurance for this car is dirt cheap compared to a GT. Period. You're just paying for the name, the GT. I admit. I'm not that kind of V6 guy who's always dissing on the GT. I love the GT. I'd love to have a GT in the future, but I'm so in love with this car, I don't even know. But one other thing too is that there's this place that has a 71 Ford Mustang Grande, and they're thinking about maybe trading this one. They give me the Grande if I give them this one. So I'm thinking about that right now. I'm still kind of sturdy on it. And I'm, I don't know. I love this car, but I love the 71 Mustang Grande. I wish I could have both, but I can't. I really can't afford that insurance right now. I'm already trying to get a job and be able to pay for this one. But just saying, I'm not telling you what to do. If you want to buy a GT, you pay for it, go for it. But if you want something that is looks good and you want something that is affordable, get the V6. You can mod it to make it faster. You could Coyote swap it. You could 50 HO swap it. You could do whatever you want to it. And give yourself a good car to keep, you know, for a while. I mean, this one's still running on its three late liter V6, of course. Um, but I've never had any problems with it. I drive it every Wednesday one hour away, which reminds me tonight I have to drive it an hour away too. So here, let's do a little acceleration pass. So. So as I said, I drive this car every Wednesday for an hour at least because I got my, my I guess see my friends are an hour away and we all just hang out. But now that I move so far away, it's so hard to see all my friends back in up in the area where I used to live in. So this car is really reliable. I don't know what these 3.8 liters are built out of. I think I think they're cast iron or aluminum. But it's really, really doing such a good job. I could not ask for more better. I mean, this car being 18 years old and me st still shifting it at 5K means a lot. So, just turn it here. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, let me give you a little bit of a little bit of a kind of like front view camera first person view so you guys can enjoy that so that acceleration was windows down this is the windows up how it sounds in the cabin it's not that bad it's I mean, I got Borla tax on it. I got an X-pipe on it, so I mean, you obviously should be prepared for that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, also this cat, this car has um secondary, I believe is what it called, catalytic converter delete. So they have four cats on this car, and um, yeah. So now I got two catalytic converters. I needed to pass emissions. So other than that. I mean, it's running great. It sounds great. There's no need for four catalytic converters on a six cylinder. I mean, the EPA is really getting us, so. So let's do another little acceleration here. Watching this video of my 2001 Ford.
Mustang V6, kind of like a drive review. Um, there's not many 3.8 liters on YouTube, so I'm trying to just see if, you know, I can put one up. Um, you know, yeah, I got a V6, but they're not bad. They're really not that bad. I'm having so much fun just driving this thing right now. So, I mean, it's got 151,000 miles too. Still being able to beat on it. It's really impressive. So I put around 10,000 miles on this car ever since I've owned it. Roll up this window because it's really loud up there. Bad drone shifts. Awesome. Anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, 151,000 miles. Do my oil changes regularly. Royal Purple and Lucas is how I do it. Um, I do sometimes use Motorcraft. But, you know, it's a great car. Great car, man. And so I said, thank you for the 132 subscribers. I would really love to see that number increase. Motivates me, as I said, to get out here and do this. Um, tell you, a lot of people really enjoyed the Ford Explorer review I have. I appreciate that, and I appreciate watching that. Be sure to check out my Instagram for more pictures of this car and other cars. Um, it's at Mustang Lover 1970. You'll find it. And um, as I said before, you know, keep up the good work. Help, help me this with this channel. I appreciate it. I mean, I've been making, I made this channel three years ago, starting out thinking, you know, oh, nobody's gonna like. I started out with mini bikes. I still have my mini bike too. So, as I said, as I grew up, I like, you know, wanted to make videos of cars because I love cars and stuff like that so much. So I thought I was never gonna really get anything but hey thanks to you all i hear i'm here where i'm at today so as i said thank you very much guys i hope you enjoyed this review please like share subscribe i'll reply to your comments as soon as possible if you need any questions feel free to ask me i'm open to any of it so any other suggestions on a review of a car i have i'll gladly do it um as i said thank you very much guys and you all have a great day take care and happy halloween coming up so everybody have a good one bye